Hi there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In the previous tutorial we have learned how to uh, find the maximum element in an array. In this tutorial we are gonna think a little bit about uh, how to find the location of the maximum number. Okay, well first of all, uh, here if, if you look at this code, we define a variable called max, and max is being updated whenever we find a bigger number. In other words, max is used, this variable max is used to find uh, or to make the computer remember the maximum value. Now, what do we need in our new problem? We want to find the location of the maximum value. In other words, the computer needs to remember two things. The maximum number and its location, which means we need to define another variable. So how do we do that? Well, basically, uh, here our function will return, uh, well, we could uh, make a function that will return one number. Let's try this out. Okay, so uh, I'm going to say static int max location in array. And this is going to be numbers so far so good, right? So now we are going to say int max equals numbers of zero so far so good. And then uh, we are going to say int loc equals zero. Now why loc equals zero? LOC stands for the location of the maximum value. We use the first one at location zero. This is why we are setting this to zero. Okay, uh, you could write this in this format, and it would make more sense, I hope. Okay, both ways are correct. Next, we are gonna use the for loop for int i equal one i is more than numbers dot length and i plus plus. Now, if max is more than numbers of i. In that case, well, we will do two things. We would say max okay, equals numbers of i. So now the computer updated its memory in order to remember uh, the maximum value. So first, also location equal i. Nice, right? Uh, or you could write it like this. Uh, yeah, and when the for loop finishes, you just return location. So far, so good. Okay, so now let us try this out. Uh, you are gonna read and array the max location is uh, instead of max, I'm gonna say max location in array. And uh, yeah, so. Before running, let us have a look at the code. So we have what? We have location and max, and we have for loop that will scan all the elements. When you find a better option, you will update the variables that uh, the computer uses in order to remember the maximum. Okay, so let's run this. Uh, I'm going to enter numbers uh, now randomly. So the max location is 4, which is the maximum number here. It's 9, right? Uh, let's, let us try to do something different. So, okay. So the max location is 1, and the maximum value is 77, as you can see. So it's working. Now, uh, there is another way that you could write the max location in an array, right? So I'm going to copy this code over here and put it here. This is going to be the second version, okay? Now, instead of defining two variables, the computer will use one variable and remember only the location. So, how do we do that? Well, instead of using this max, I can say numbers of lock Okay, now let us check the code and understand what it does. Now, 
MOC will point to the first first element, location zero. Now, what does the computer do in this loop? It's going to scan all the elements. I will represent the locations, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, up to N. So here, you are telling the computer to get the number at cell LOC, which is the first cell, and compare it with the number at cell I. So, it's going to compare zero, the zeroth number with the first number. Okay, if uh, you don't have the maximum value or LOC doesn't point to the maximum value, in other words, this one, LOC will be equal to I. This is what it means. Okay, so it's very similar to this one. The only difference is that uh, here uh, we are using one variable, here we are using two variables, and also here we are using, you know, we are indexing our array, we are using our array. And the expression over here. In this case, we are using a separate variable with the array. Okay. Uh, obviously, here we just have one assignment. Here we have two assignments. But in the end, both will give you the same result. Okay. There might be a little bit of performance difference, but uh, yeah. it depends. If you are having a very time-consuming process. You might get some difference, so you might do some research on that. Anyway, let's try this out. 9, 33, 5, 11, uh, maybe 34. So uh, the maximum location is 4, as you can see. Let's try this out again. Uh, 3. Okay, so the maximum is 1, which is 564. Okay. So, uh, this is how you could, you could find the location of the maximum value. Basically, whenever you want the computer to remember something, we define a variable to do that. In this case, we define a variable for the, in order to remember the location. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's as simple as that. So, thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, we'll continue on the next one with a little bit more interesting stuff.